Good morning, ladies and gentlemen of the committee. Hey, can you uh, they've asked me to share personal stories, and uh, so I'll give you a little background on myself. My name is Matt Sorum, and I'm honored to be here today. I think it's very cool that I'm here, actually. I've done some cool stuff in my life. You probably don't think it's very cool, but I'm really enjoying it. I think it's cool. It. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a musician, producer, filmmaker, artist, environmentalist, and activist. I moved to the Los Angeles area from Orange County in 1979, just out of high school to pursue a musical career. After years of struggle, I joined a rock band called The Cult, and soon after, Guns N' Roses. My most recent accomplishment has been my band, Velvet Revolver, that won a Grammy and sold three million records. Last year, I was inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with my band, Guns N' Roses, whose career uh, sales of records has been 70 million copies worldwide. My groups Guns N' Roses and Velvet Revolver have always been California companies, bringing millions in revenue from touring and merchandise through our great state. It could have gone the other way, but I was educated in a time before Proposition 13. You could be looking at me right now, maybe from outside a jail cell, where you would be paying $57,000 a year for me to be there. Instead, I'm contributing to our state. Samuel Hoy of Otis has already shown the report on the impact of the creative economy. My business is music primarily. It has been going through some changes. Record sales are down, but there are many ways to create new revenue. To give you an idea of the workforce behind a band like Guns N' Roses or Velvet Revolver, we have employed hundreds to tens of thousands of people from managers, agents, and our record company people to merchandise people. Web designers, PR people, and countless others, including the roadies, across the world. But my greatest passion and the reason I'm here today is about our future, the kids. Three years ago, I formed a nonprofit, Adopt the Arts, to keep music and art alive in public schools. I focus on K through six what I call the formative years. I saw the Beatles on TV when I was five years old, <laughs> and it changed my life. I thought, maybe I can change a kid's life. So that's my goal. Believe in them so they can believe in themselves. I was lucky to have that teacher. When I spoke at the LAUSD rally, February 14th, Valentine's Day, 2012, John Daisy and the LAUSD school board were preparing to cut 18 million in budgets for the arts in the LAUSD. I asked the question, how is it possible in the entertainment capital of the world that there is no music and art in our schools? It is a proven fact that kids need this discipline to exercise their minds and expand creativity. If the community is to remain sustainable, we must nurture every discipline. Last April, I lobbied at Capitol Hill with renowned cellist Yo-Yo Ma. Yo-Yo's -Yo informative speech at Kennedy Center questioned the education system, STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and spoke of a much better sounding solution, STEAM. <laughs> Including the arts in its education platform, Realizing the world is changing so fast, we have no idea the impact of creativity and innovation will play in our future. What better a place to learn creativity and innovation if not through art, music, visual arts, and dance? Yo-Yo brought up a point, 85% of new and current companies are looking for a modern thinking creative mind. Harvard Business School has been studying the concept, the Medici effect. Written by Franz Johansson, this book talks about how important it is for people to have as many experiences as possible. And those experiences lead to innovation and creativity. I'm surrounded by creative people every day and stimulated beyond my wildest dreams. But there is nothing more exciting than seeing a child discover his or her potential for the first time. Believe that the arts are vital for our children. Imagine all the people brought together in only a way music and art can. 
foster the new generation of innovators and entrepreneurs. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.